Hello folks, you watching iRec News and I Jennifer Renata will take you to our news today. One in five Hong Kongers living below the poverty line in 2018 as concerned group born falling economy may cause situation to get worse. More than 1.4 million people were living below the poverty line in Hong Kong in 2018, a 10-year high with the government warning that the weakened economy may have further repercussions on grassroots earnings. The Hong Kong Poverty Situation Report, released by the government on Friday and coinciding with the meeting held by the Commission on Poverty, showed a rise of 0.3 percentage point to 20.4 percent. Representatives from a concerned group, as well as a lawmaker and a scholar, slammed the government for not doing enough to solve the problem. The government attributed the increase to an acceleration of the population aging. Government stated that such conditions offset the positive effects brought about by favorable economic and employment conditions and our efforts to alleviate poverty. It warned the deteriorating economic climate in the city could further affect low-income livelihoods. The government said that the local economy has weakened visibly which will likely have repercussions on the earnings and employment prospect for the grassroots. The city's retail and tourism sectors have been hard hit by more than six months of anti-government protests, which officials estimated would cost the city two percentage points on its gross domestic product. The government forecast the GDP would shrink 1.3% this year from 2018. The poverty line is set at 50% of the median monthly household income before taxation and government policy interventions, including social welfare payments such as allowances for the elderly and low-income families. The number of impoverished Hong Kongers in 2018 dropped to 1,024 million after policy interventions such as the Comprehensive Social Security Assistance, or CSSA, and Old Age Living Allowance, but the figure remained 15,000 higher in 2017. The government said many in this demographic live without any income, so even government benefits were unable to plug the gap to the poverty line. For many poor elderly in the city, the intervention did little. About 20,000 more than in 2017 remain below the poverty line. The post-intervention poverty rate among those aged 18 to 29 also saw a year-on-year -year increase of 0.5 percentage points to 9.3%, meaning around 90,000 young people living in poverty. Professor Paul Yip Xiu Fai from the University of Hong Kong said the latest figures show the efficiency of recurrent cash was not that high as such policy intervention could only reduce the poverty population by around 27 percent. Yip stated nothing that more than half of the poor aged 25 to 29 were jobless but 90 percent had completed their studies and they need more job diversity to fit the different skill sets that they have. Helping them to establish startup companies is one solution. They need jobs with the future. That's our news for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Good day.